Hey everybody! I um, have created a journal and I actually designed, um, did a new like journal paper collection and decided I was going to go ahead and put a journal together so that you could actually see it in use. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just absolutely in love with these papers. Um, I've called it um, Romantic Lace Collection and I created the cover using the Textcraft uh, fabric paper and I probably should have um, just left it loose and did the signature straight into it so that it would have more of a curved spine uh, but I did want to have the blind stitching you know, I guess I could have covered it with the paper but um, so I did Mod Podge on one of the papers and added on this beautiful lace that um, Trisha, a little shabby chic, had given me. Hi, sis! And uh, I did tone it down a little bit. I have um, a mixture of avocado dye with a little bit of coffee in it. Um, so that toned that down a little bit. And Mod Podge on more of the paper and some more of the lace here. And we'll flip through it fairly quickly. I did print the paper on the, um, or print the images on the um, parchment paper that, that I've just absolutely fallen in love with. Um, inside is more paper. So we'll just go through so you can see the designs. And there is a set of um, coordinating envelopes that you just cut, fold, and glue. And so these I actually put in as um, an envelope that can be used. Tuck in one of the coordinating journal spots or whatever you want to tuck in there. And then behind it is a tuck spot. So that would be for another journal spot. And um, yeah, I just have a file you know, that I created of lined paper. Um, it's not part of the collection, it's just something that I use and I change the sizes every now and then. Um, so this, is a, this one is a little flip. And this is the next design. And the collection does include um, reverse sides for the papers. Flip. That's the other side of the flip. And again another little envelope. Tuck spot. And the other half of that particular paper. Flip sewn in, and that is the first signature. And then um, I wanted to have, wanted to fill in some of the space from where I, I had sewn in the signature. So I just, you know, printed some lined paper, and in the middle I actually enlarged the envelopes and sewed it in. There's nothing in it yet, but that's a really good tuck spot. I won't flip all the way through that. Um, the next signature. And the signatures as far as the format, you know, is all pretty much the same. It'll give you a chance to uh, see the graphics. And I did use all kinds of um, vintage type colors in this collection. And I'm just really, really happy with how it came out. You know, and obviously I haven't decorated any of the pages or anything, and I don't think I'm going to. I might do some stamping here and there, um, you know, of quotes that I like, but I think this is actually going to be, I'm going to use this to jot down, you know, 
quotes that inspire me and um, you know that are romantic and about love and things like that or or just you know jot in my own thoughts of the day oh, that's the next signature and there's the the larger envelope This is the same image that was used on the cover. Just love her. I think she's so pretty. The envelope tuck spot. Just um, you know, a variety of ways that you can use you know, the, the different elements of the collection. And tuck spot envelope again. So ju just using the elements from this. You can very quickly put a beautiful journal together. And I do like quick and I do like pretty. <laughs> And then on the back, I did a pocket with one of my favorite antique tatted laces. And I've tucked in spare, the uh, spare envelopes. I'll just flip through these real quick. And the envelope uh, sheets have um, two of the same envelope on each page. And then I said, let's play a little bit. Um, with the journal spots, you can cut them out um, individually. You know, to use this little, you know, to tuck in here and there. You can fold them and sew them into your signatures. And that's what all these little flips are, they're sewn in, and, or, I actually used one, folded it, and put in some of my little lined paper, and I stapled it, and I have a teeny tiny little journal pad, and I just, I just did two of them. So, I mean, I can just, you know, tuck these in my purse just to uh, make little notes if I want to. Or I can keep them in here and tuck them in somewhere else further down the line. I'm super pleased with how this collection came out. And I did print it also on white. Which is still very pretty. I just happen to really like that parchment paper. I'm hoping you can see these okay without too much shadow. 
and basically you just trim it down, trim the border off, and fold it in half. You can use several of them together for a signature or stick blank pages in for your signatures. Use them however you want to. This is what I was talking about the back side. But the files for these, um, not on these prints, but the uh, files for the back sides are actually larger than the front sides. And that's so that if for some reason your printer feeds the paper in crooked or something like that, um, you should still be okay because when you trim around using the um, the front page border, then your back should should still be completely covered. I do like the variety of colors in here. And the vintage graphics and of course the laces. This would be the um, journal spots. And you just cut those down, and then the envelopes. Like, like I said, there's two of each on each sheet. Let's flip through these quickly since you've seen them. And super easy. I mean, once you cut them out, you basically fold in fold in the flaps. And fold the bottom up, fold the top down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, and I have um, started working on another journal collection, having fun with it. But it was great to, you know, do the designs and everything, and then actually put them together for the journal. Yeah, you know, for one that I will definitely be using. And I think that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate your comments. And I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.